Hello everyone, my name is Devin. I am the sole developer of Omnius. And today I want to take a few minutes to show you guys some of the new features that I've been working on in version 0.2.0. We go into the uh, galaxy selection menu, we can generate a new galaxy. Row Y is the name of this galaxy that generated. We're going to go in and we're going to start off as a spaceman. We'll do Crash Lander in a minute. So here we are. You awake to another day on the Fo the Fosi Empire space station. So the Fosi Empire in this case is a nation that was procedurally generated in, in this galaxy. Every galaxy is a handful uh, and they each have their own sort of style uh, to the space stations. So in this case the Fosi Empire space stations usually look somewhat like this. Uh, they're pretty large and they have these brown walls we can see what the game looks like in ASCII mode. If we hit F3, you can see all this is just pure ASCII. And if we hit F3 again, we'll go back to tile mode. Now there's a lot of stuff on the ground here. Uh, up here is a grip for a gun. Right there. Uh, this is a no, this is a different gun's grip. This is a flashlight, actually. That's kind of interesting. So we can we can wield this in our left hand, and we can toggle the light bulb on. So now we have a flashlight. Now it's not particularly dark. There's lots of uh, lights all over the space station, but if they were not there, then this would be a little bit more useful. Um, what else we have? Right here we have a shoulder bag. We can equip that on our, one of our shoulders. So let's go down and talk to this person here. Oh, there's two people here. This person's name is Elena. So we can uh, we can talk to Elena. We'll say, "Hey there." Elena says, "Greetings, Kentrick, Centric. That's our name, which was procedurally generated. Uh, maybe we'll recruit Elena to follow us around. Right now, it's very easy to persuade them to do things for you. All we got to say is follow me." And Elena Elena replies with, "Okay, I will do that." So now they're going to follow us as we go around. Um, so let's try to find a weapon. So there's two guns here. Down here we have a Fosi Empire U-39 attack cannon. Ooh, it looks like this. Interesting. Maybe we'll grab that. Let's look at the other one. This is a bullet projector and it fires uh, one projectile with zero spread. This is a laser projector. This fires three projectiles with four spreads. So this is more like a shotgun. And this is what that looks like. I think we're going to go with this one. It's probably a little bit better. Um, oh, there's no... There's no gun on this. But the barrel does support one miscellaneous attachment. Uh, we can actually use this flashlight as a miscellaneous attachment. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the... Uh, 12 and offensive gun barrel. That this is the gun barrel that we're uh, that's on the gun that we're wielding. We're going to attach the flashlight to that gun barrel. So now we have the flashlight attached to our gun barrel. Let's keep walking around. Um, I was going to try to find a melee weapon, but I don't think we'll be able to. That's fine. Um, so let's attack someone. Well, who's this over here? Oh, there's someone right down here to our... It's Kevin. Kevin's a little close, but this guy, Delilah, is far enough away. Um, so I'm just going to say... Um, hey there. You suck. I'm going to shout it angrily. Now we have a few people chiming in here. So I say, hey there, you suck. Delilah says, greetings, centric. Centric. You are making me very angry. Kevin says you should not say those things about Delilah. And Laurie says you should not say those things about Delilah. So now they're going to be mad at us. So mad, in fact, that they're going to come uh, attack us. So if I say, hey, what are you doing? Delilah says, I am going to pick up a Fosi Empire 10H cannon. So they're walking over to get a gun to attack us with. I'm going to tell our follower here, Elena to stop following us, and I want to tell them to, uh, I want them to attack Delilah. Alright, 
So now Elena is going to go attack Delilah. I assume that they're getting a weapon. I'm going to pick up a Fossi Empire U39 attack cannon. Yeah, so they're going to go get a weapon as well. Oh boy, okay. Delilah strikes your right hand with their laser, wounding majorly. So if we look at our wounds now, our right hand has a puncture wound and a burn wound. And the puncture wound is located on the back of the right hand. Yeah. So the back of our right hand is badly burned now. I'm going to try to get into some cover. I'm going to try to... Okay. Elena is back. Okay, they're, they're exchanging fire. Oh boy. Okay. Delilah is really upset. I'm going to fire my weapon. So, so if we hit A, we can go to the attack menu. I have a bunch of different options here. I could throw my gun or I could fire it. Those are my, basically my two options right now. So I'm going to fire my gun right there. Okay. This is not going well for us. We're bleeding quite heavily at this point. Um, you can see our blood up here. When that runs out, we'll die. So I'm going to try to get out of here. Um, hopefully. Oh, boy. This is not looking good for us. I'm, we're, we're about to die. I'm gonna With my last action, I'm going to try to fire at Delilah. Okay, so I've died, um, but Delilah also died. That's good. I'm going to turn off the field of view. Um, well, that was the end of this character. We, 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 I mean, we set out to do what we were trying to do, um, but we ended up dying. So there's blood everywhere now. Our wounds are still healing, which should not be happening, but that's okay. We'll... Uh, We'll deal with that. We can see the wounds are scarred over. They'll eventually heal up completely. Um, but the space station will continue going on as it was. <laughs> so, let's try a crash lander. We'll generate a new, a brand new galaxy. Psi. And we'll start as a crash lander. Alright, it's night time where we, where we are, where we crashed. You awaken the wreckage of your Y-Wing spacecraft. So there's all kinds of stuff around me here. Um, let's grab a weapon. There's a bunch of people around us. Let's grab a C-14 Zapper. Ooh, that's what that looks like. Pretty, pretty cool. I kind of want this without the stock, though, so I want to detach the stock. And I'm just going to uh, pick that up. Now, this is a disc projector. So this weapon actually fires discs. You can see one of them going right there. Pretty cool. Uh, I'd like a flashlight. It's quite dark here, but I don't see any on the ground. Um, I don't think that there are any flashlights around, so that's unfortunate. We could check on some of these guns, um, but I don't think we're going to find one, because if this nation used flashlights a lot, then there would be one on the ground. Probably. So there's probably not going to be one anywhere. Maybe on this gun. Nope. Okay, that's fine. No flashlights for us. We look at the map. Um, not much around, really. But over to the left, it's lighter. It's daytime to the, to the west. Now, the worlds are much smaller than they right now than they're going to be. So if I go over to the west, it'll actually get brighter as it gets um, to be daytime. So around us we have some plants. They're blue and purple. Uh, this was simulated evolution. You see the uh, star's color is blue. So these plants evolved to be the same output color as the star. At least most of them did. Some of them are purple. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Um, they probably were not able to develop... Um, they probably were able to develop a um, stronger photosensitivity, so they're able to absorb more of the blue light. That's what I would... So I would think probably happened during the evolution generation. Um, so yeah, this 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 planet's pretty sparse. You know, the planets don't have a lot to them yet. There should be little settlements around, although I can't seem to find one on the map right now. Um, we can see the elevation map here. There's not much to this yet. The, the crash lander um, scenario. You know, there's not a lot of the planets, but most of the gameplay will take place on the ground here. Well, that's pretty much, you know, a lot of what we have here. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Some of the some of the plans coming up over the next few weeks are working on the people a lot more, getting their uh, emotions and personalities set up, getting relationships set up, 
and also more uh, nation generation. So like right now, the nations are really simple. They only have a few little attributes, mostly regarding the items that they have and the space station layouts. But at some point, we're going to be simulating a history um, so that they can have, you know, wars, waging, and trade, all that kind of fun stuff. And hopefully we'll be having cities and towns on the ground here pretty soon. Because right now there's just little settlements that are basically like the space stations. Um, anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this game is free. I'll post a link down below. You can find us on Discord, uh, Pine Pitch Games. If anyone has any questions, feel free to contact me on um, anywhere, you know, Facebook, Twitter. It's all Pine Pitch Games. So thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.